Hello guys, and welcome to this video where I will show you how to level around Abu Dhabi, then the setup I use, and finally the race strategy. So let's jump right into the hot lap. Going over the line and start our lap coming down to turn 1 you want to break around 80 meters, just a bit before the black box on your right side, going down to 4th, hitting the throttle at the apex, and then it's okay to get the tires over the curb on the exit. Then going flat out in turn 2, going over the curb a bit, and also flat out in turn 3 where you want to turn in a bit before than I did and cut more off the corner, so go over the curb instead. Then coming down to turn 5 you want to break just as the curb begins and before the 50 meter board, going down to 3rd, short shifting to 4th and then push that throttle to get some exit speed for the straight. Remember the DRS and then just reach the top speed down to turn 6. In the next part of the track you can gain so much speed by doing it right. I did it ok, but had another lap where it was much better. But start breaking around 120 meters out, going all the way down to 3rd gear and then short shift to 4th before turn 7. Trust me on this, because you can push the throttle now and gain so much time and get a better top speed for the next straight. So remember the DRS and then down to turn 9 which is a long left hander. So brake just after the 50 meter board goes out of view and then go down to 5th where you want the throttle to be around 80-90% to through the corner. And then just full throttle before hitting the exit curb. Then just full throttle around the next few corners and then turn 12 can be a bit tricky but try and brake a bit after the exit on turn 11. Going down to 4th and into turn 13 you just wanna lift the throttle staying in 4th gear. Then also just lift the throttle for turn 14 where you just wanna push the throttle but be careful of the track limits here. Then just flat out until the last corner where you want to break just after the white line, going down to 4th, short shifting to 5th and then across the line and then that was a lap around Abu Dhabi, in the time 1, 23.281. But a bit more time to gain if we just make the right lap. But let me show you my great setup. For the aerodynamics we use 24 on the front and 18 on the rear, for transmission I use 60 and 50, then for geometry it's all the way to right for camber and all the way to left for toe. The suspension is 4.2, 2.2 for anti roll bar, and then 4.5 for ride height. Brakes are 150, and then the front size is 22.5, while the rear is 23.0. So that was the setup, and then let's jump right into the race strategy. So the strategy for this race is gonna be medium hearts, and you can put around 28.8 laps of fuel as you'll gain during the race. The race setup is a bit different, so change the wings to 23 and 17, and then change the tire pressure to 22.8 on the front and 20.8 on the rear, and then you're good to go. Then just get some heat in the tires and hit the purple. We started P17, so we needed to get a lot of overtakes and a bit of luck to be able to do very well. So we had a decent launch where we just kept our position, and then into the first corner we got one position, so an okay start. But after 5 laps we were up to P8 and we had around 22% tire wear, so each lap is around 4-5% to wear. A normal lap time around this track on the medium is around 128.8 ish. And at the end of lap 12 you have around 50% tire wear, so go into the pits. Coming into the pit lane you want to break around 40 meters so you don't exceed the pit limits. Then make sure to turn in when it shows 0.5 to hit the purple, getting the hearts on, and then remember coming out of the pits the tires are gonna be cold. So watch out in the pit exit and then try to get some temperature into the tires before turn 5. But just brake before usual until the up to temperature. Then after 6 laps we have around 18% tire wear so around 3% each lap. And on a normal lap on the hearts the time should be around 128.0 ish. But then I wanted to show you a lap around Abu Dhabi with high fuel where you also can see the tire temperatures. So it is pretty much the same as in the hot lap, but maybe just lift the throttle a bit going into turn 2, as sometimes you can get your tires too hot and spin. So to make sure, just lift a bit. But other than that, it is exactly the same breaking points as in the hot lap, so learn the hot lap and have an easy race. So I will just let you enjoy the rest of the lap now.
And then that was a lap with high fuel and the tire temperatures were great. We got the fastest lap in the time 127.549. And at the end of last lap we were behind Verstappen but he is world champion so that is okay. So a great last race for the one and only Sebastian Vettel. Thank you for everything. But our fuel load was plus 0.87 laps so that was way too much. So use what I said at the beginning of the race. Our tires were around 53% so that was great. And then that was it from me, if you want more of this please like and subscribe and then I'll see you in the next one.